We stood up for Emma. You know why I love that? Because she and her generation are the first people who have made sensible, sane gun safety laws a voting issue in this country. And I was president, we passed the assault weapons ban and the ammunition limit, and we did all that. Wait, wait, wait. We did it all, but we couldn't make it a voting issue, and we got our brains beat out. When she and her colleagues said, we do not deserve to die in school, schools need not be a killing ground. Bobby Kennedy would say, hey, nobody's trying to take away your right to hunt, to sport shoot, to defend your family. But we should take away the option to commit mass murder with killing machines without an adequate background check, for sure. That's what she did. That's the kind of thing, that's the kind of thing he did viscerally. I never saw anything like it. At our 50th reunion, I was trying to determine what to say, and I kept thinking about Bobby Kennedy because when he died early on the morning of June the 6th, one of my roommates was volunteering in his office. Tommy Kaplan's here with me today, and he was, we stayed up to watch him win, and then he's on my bed beating on me. They shot him, they shot him. And all I could think about was that in his campaign, Robert Kennedy said, "'Tis not too late to seek a newer world." He loved Tennyson's Ulysses, and it was perfect. It was like, hey, I'm a 42-year-old cool guy, and young people can relate to me, and we're gonna do great things. We can make America again. <laughs> again. But, for all of you who were there then, you get to join the young people today. Because go back and read Ulysses. It is a poem of an old man saying, you can't quit. And there is still something good you can do. Your age is a state of mind. Your commitment must never waver. And we have got to stop hating each other. It's bad for us. And that includes, and by the way, that includes the members of our clans and our tribes. The outstretched hand beats the clenched fist. 